Hello everyone, it's Piggy Bank with a character guide to the Man of Mystery, Helix or DNA Man. Helix is a character that is highly technical compared to the most of the cast and has a high skill ceiling. But with dedication, he has the potential to be one of the strongest fighters in the game. Helix has numerous options and techniques that makes him stand out from the rest of the cast. Let's look at Helix's moveset and find out why. Oh, it's like a fire! You can hold the jump button to enter tower mode, which quickly charges your arms. You will maintain your charge until you let go of the jump button. While in tower mode, you can still tilt your body to attempt to dodge or change the position your attack starts from. You can let go of the jump button during tower mode to jump out of tower mode. If you let go of jump while punching, you will simply fall without jumping. Keep in mind that you cannot enter tower mode while your arm is extended except with shield arms. Tower mode attacks are still considered grounded while Helix himself is considered airborne, which means electric, ice, and blind elements will not be as effective against tower mode Helix. If your arm is disabled while in tower mode, Helix will immediately fall out of it. You can press the dash button to go into portal mode, which allows you to dodge many arms by squeezing under the attacks. While you hold the dash button, you are able to continually move around. The longer you press the dash button, the longer you will stay in portal mode until maximum charge is achieved. You can also extend the puddle mode by dashing again before the puddle mode is over. Keep in mind that even arms that you can usually duck under will still hit you if the opponent attacked a little after you went into puddle mode. When you land from a jump, you will briefly go into puddle mode. You can extend the puddle mode by holding the dash button as you land. While you can do a short hop with Helix by tapping the jump button, if you try to full hop as Helix, you will go into tower mode first before jumping. To avoid this, press the dash and jump button at the same time. Keep in mind that because of this oddity with Helix's jump, you must push the dash button twice, triggering the dash and jump button at the same time on the second press to do the dash jump. However, this also gives Helix an interesting option out of shield. A character can only insta-counter forwards or backwards, which usually means that you can only jump forwards or backwards on insta-counter. However, since Helix's jump puts him into tower mode, you can insta-counter jump into any direction. Tower mode gives Helix a height advantage as well as permit charge. This allows Helix the ability to create a wall of charged attacks, which makes it hard for the opponent to approach all the while charging rush and still being able to tilt his body or jump out of tower mode if need be to defend himself. Tower mode grants Helix high amounts of horizontal camera tracking, much like when you block. This helps Helix more reliably hit the opponent. The opponent's camera, however, is unable to track Helix's tower mode wiggle. Part of what makes tower mode so powerful is its ability to mess up the homing of the arms that have them. You can lean in one direction in anticipation of a homing attack, and you can often dodge it by leaning the other way once the attack locks on. Of course, anticipating moves is very difficult, and the method and timing to dodge is arms dependent. Mastering this aspect of tower mode will be difficult but if done right, Helix might feel near impossible to hit. Uh -huh. Because Helix is not very mobile, positioning is extra important for Helix. As powerful as tower mode can be, if you attack in a way that is impossible to dodge while in tower mode, you can force Helix out of tower mode, which may cause Helix to lose his positional advantage. This is easier to do with wide attacks like the Dragon and Tribolt. Furthermore, if the opponent is able to approach, suddenly Helix becomes much more vulnerable due to his lack of mobility. Even his portal mode isn't as effective if the opponent is able to get a height advantage. This makes Helix a very polarizing character. Maintain distance and the lead, then Helix can look invincible. 
but if Helix loses either, things can be very difficult for Helix because escaping close range pressure or chasing the opponent down is not Helix's strong suit. As extra bits, you can do the high jump on the Cinema Dew limousines by pressing the dash and jump button at the same time. You can go to tower mode while on the snake board, but you will be unable to steer the board while in tower mode. Also, you do not need to press the dash and jump button together while on the snake board for the full jump, since short hopping while on the snake board isn't possible to begin with. Like with all characters, Helix gains full access to his mobility while his arm is retracting. During this time, you can input the normal command for a dash jump to do one. Special thanks goes to Linkable, who gave me some valuable information to make this guide that much better. If you liked this guide and would like to watch my next guide, be sure to like and subscribe. And with that, I will see you in the next guide. Next up is the speed demon himself, Kid Cobra. Take care.